Hi, my name's Lindsay, I'm a watercolour artist and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to paint a really easy and interesting daisy. In this video I'm going to be showing you some really easy ways you can add texture and colour to your background. I'm also going to be doing some negative painting, so I'm going to be painting around the daisy. We'll do the background first and then we will paint in the flower. This is easy to do, so if you're a beginner I tempt you to have a go at this. Pick up your paints if you're going to follow along with me. And if you do follow along, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you think of this tutorial. So there's my finished drawn daisy. I wanted it to be a little bit imperfect. You can see that I've drawn these bottom petals a bit shorter. You just get the impression then that the flower is kind of like curving around or opening. And if you're wondering what pencil I'm using, I'm using the Rotoring Techie. I got this from Amazon. It's a mechanical pencil. I love drawing with this. It's really fine nibbed so I can get really fine drawing, but it's also really good for erasing. You want to be drawing very light with your pencil this is actually harder than I would normally draw but I wanted you to be able to see it these are the colors that I'm going to be using today so I'm going to be using Payne's gray as you write blue deep blue which is a slightly darker um, hue of blue also violet and then metallic white and you can't really see the metallic white but it does show up more when it dries and I'm using this palette today this is from Amazon it's called Mozart art palette and it's got some gorgeous colors in here I've got neons and metallics really really bright and vibrant colors I love using this palette so I'll link this down below for you for you to go and have a look at I would definitely recommend it it's quite affordable I think I paid about 18 pound for this set I'm going to start off by using very watery paint so this is the azurite blue and I'm going to paint that on as quick as I can I'm going to be more quick uh, away from the petals so this is just watery paint the reason why I'm being quick is I don't want any harsh lines to fall I'm using the tip of my paintbrush as well just to get right into those petals I don't want to go over the petals if I can and when I tried to paint a daisy the other day, I was painting over the petals um, and then it was a bit hard then to cover the petals with the metallic white because watercolour is transparent so you're just going to see any colours that are underneath, um, underneath the paint. So I'm just being as careful as I can just to paint around the petals. As you can see I am going on some of the petals so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a damp brush and I'm just going to take that paint off and dab it onto my paper towel. I'm going to take it off as best I can so I'm just using a damp brush. I'm going to scrub it so I'm just carefully outlining the petals with the watery paint. Try to keep your paint still watery so that you're not getting harsh edges forming like what is happening at the moment with this paint. I love these brushes that I'm using. They're really good for painting large areas like this but for also getting into fine detail because they've got a fine point on them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rinse my brush off and then I'm going to pick up some of the deep blue and I'm just going to touch the deep blue to the paint that's already down so that the two colours mix together. So I want to see two individual colours. I don't want to make a new colour really. You can see that that paint is flooding the paper and that is because I had too much water on my brush. So I'm actually going to just sop up some of that water and take it off with a paper towel. So I'm just going to drip it to the end. If you really don't want to have harsh edges you could always wet the paper. I did try to do this technique with my practice run last night 
and I wet the paper first and it did work really well but I found it hard harder to paint around the petal. So that's the first layer finished. You can see that there has been some blooms formed, but I actually quite like that. So I'm gonna leave that, but if you don't want that to happen, then just be careful with your water control. And you could always, like I said, wet the paper first. I'm actually going to drop some droplets of water onto the paper to cr purposely create water blooms. You want to do this while the paint is still wet otherwise it won't work. You can see that I've added this to dry paper and it's not taken properly. So I'm going to allow this to dry completely now before I add the second layer and I'm actually going to speed this up with a hairdryer. For this now with the second layer so this is the azurite blue and this is a really good opportunity to cover any harsh edges. The paint is still wet I'm going to take some deep blue and I'm just going to drop that into the wet paint and just see what textures it comes out with. So I'm going to leave the background to dry completely now. I want to paint the flower so I'm going to paint the middle of the flower here. I'm not going to paint any of the petals because if I do start painting the petals then that colour is just going to bleed out into the wet background and I don't want that to happen at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some yellow paint this is called brilliant yellow and i'm just going to paint just the middle of the daisy this middle part as well is not a complete circle it's more of a very irregular oval shape while the paint is still wet i'm going to take some metallic bronze and i'm just going to sort of dot the paint on with the tip of my paintbrush because daisies have like these little dots in the middle. I'm also going to take some burnt sienna and I'm just going to add a dot in the middle because daisies have like a middle part which looks more like a little howl. I'm going to paint in the petals now so I'm going to be using this gorgeous metallic white colour so I'm going to paint one petal at a time so I'm just painting on the metallic white onto one of the petals and this is just watery paint but you can see that I took it straight from the palette so it's very concentrated. Then I'm going to use my little liner brush and I'm just using some Payne's Grey just to paint on some lines but this is very very washed out Payne's Grey. It is hardly there at all but it's just going to create a little bit of a shadow. The petal isn't going to look flat. So moving on to the next petal now I'm just going to paint this petal in the metallic white as well. This metallic white is quite thick so it's not as watery as the other paints. I'm taking my Payne's Grey and I'm just going to paint on some very thin lines just randomly. I'm not really paying too much attention. I'm going to take it across the edge of that petal there. Also up the petal and I'm going to take it up the bottom edge of the petal as well and I'm just basically drawing some very thin lines on just to create a bit of texture within the petal. So I'm taking my Payne's Grey and I'm making sure that this is not very watery as well because I don't want the colour to spread within the petal. So I'm just going to continue painting these petals and I am going to speed this up a little bit for you because I don't want to bore you with painting each individual petal.
So you can see how subtle that is. You can just see some very faint grey lines but it just makes the flower look textured and more 3D and more interesting. And I've decided to paint the stem in a very dark turquoise. I love this colour. This has come straight from my palette. So it's very concentrated, but I did want the colour to be very dark. I'm very carefully painting around those petals. I really don't want to be going over onto the petals with this dark turquoise because this is quite a staining colour because it's quite dark so it's going to be very hard to remove. So I'm just painting down the stem because it's concentrated as well. It's going to go over that blue colour that I made a mistake with earlier. And you can see that the stem is not very straight either because stems aren't very straight. They are a little bit irregular sometimes. There is a little small sort of leaf that I've painted as well. So I'm just going to paint that in. I'm going to take some more paint because I want it to be quite dark. So I'm just painting back over that leaf with the turquoise again. I'm going to take some deep blue now and I'm just going to dab that. I'm just going to paint that at the top of the stem. And then I'm just going to run that across the left hand side and because the paint is still wet you're getting a lovely blend of the blue and the turquoise and it's just going to create a bit of a shadow but it's going to be quite soft. So here's my finished painting. Do you like how this turned out? I love the bright colours in the background and I also love the petals. So if you like this painting, give me a like. Also, I'd love to have you as a subscriber on this channel. I make lots of real-time tutorials in watercolour, which are easy to follow along with, and I've got lots of exciting stuff coming up. I will see you in my next video, hopefully, and have a lovely day. Happy painting if you're going to do some painting today.